The next question says, a system consists of three masses M1, M2 and M3, where all three are equal, as you can see. Connected by a string passing over a pulley P, the mass M1 hangs freely and M2 and M3 are on the rough horizontal table where the coefficient of friction is mu. The pulley is frictionless and of negligible mass. The downward acceleration of mass M1 is. So we are supposed to find the acceleration A. And this is the diagram given in the question. Now first of all, since there is nothing to be found as individual for mass M2 and M3 and both the masses are equal as M, we can redraw this diagram as one common body of mass 2m having the wire attached and instead of writing this as m1 we would write this as m so we would not need to deal individually with them and definitely since both of them are connected by a common string the acceleration of both of them will be same so this body will also move with the acceleration a now, if we try to draw the free body diagram, we can say for body of mass m, we will have mg acting vertically downwards, tension acting vertically upwards, and there will be motion ma. And for the 2m mass, we can say there will be 2mg acting vertically downwards, normal reaction vertically upwards, tension towards the left and the friction which I can say it's going to be the kinetic friction because the body is already in motion with 2ma. Now if we try to make the equation from the free body diagram, the first diagram will give us the equation as ma is equal to mg minus t tension and the second free body diagram will give us the equation 2ma is equal to tension minus the friction now we are interested in finding the acceleration and not the tension so the best thing is to add both the equation so we can get rid of the tension so when we add them the tension gets cancelled we get over here as 3ma this is mg minus the friction. Now we know friction is mu n and n from the diagram we can say it's 2 mg. So this is equal to mu times 2 mg. Now definitely m can be cancelled throughout the equation and we get the acceleration 3 times a as g common in the bracket 1 minus 2 mu. And so the acceleration is going to be G bracket 1 minus 2 mu the entire thing upon 3 as the final answer.